that's what i also felt every opportunity given is a learning for not only for the participant also for the organizers faculty and everybody community pediatrician what is his need what we are providing to them if you look at the op practice is a rough calculation i don't have a data if you look at it in the op practice including managing kids in small hospitals 80% is done by the community pediatricians we can call him as a community pediatrician or the practicing pediatrician but probably community pediatrician is the right terminology because he is practicing in the community plus some small hospitals mild case admission with that he is a general as well as the soldier not only avar than tholilali avar than avar than single man clinic single man uh, health services so far in all cme specialist we were providing them what we know without asking their needs because we select the topic and give it to them like uta convulsions to the community pediatricians now i thought we will provide what they want so i request the community pediatricians to express your needs so that our topics will be decided by you which will be useful to you for practice our team under the guidance of iap includes me and iap functionaries and uh, today's uh, chairperson uh, dr r selvan and the faculty and uh, dr rajkumar ekambarnath uh, balaji and then uh, dr shaini uh, in 3rd january 1975 tnmsc i got the number from tnmsc for practice in this registration number 25826 nearly 15 50 years in this almost i spent 15 years in the community 1975 to 1990 before i came to the college i was a community pediatrician faced all problems related to the community pediatrician the community pediatrician has moved from landline phone pager mobile smartphones ipads laptops and whatsapp groups in his personal life but his community service is not seen so many steps i believe a group of community pediatricians under the guidance of iap and senior colleagues this venture started this not an another cme this not a buffet it's like an a la carte menu you can order and get what you want that's a request to the community pediatricians these are all the topics professional topics we have planned in the forthcoming session this may the title may look a little boring but we will make it interesting by the very nice faculty and the interesting faculty like iap prescriptions we don't have a standardized prescription for the op practice probably iap can come out with the format we can prepare a format how do we choose our drugs we means here the community pediatricians how to maintain the cards in one session probably we can cover iap als mass awareness program which will teach the intricacies of the pals iap helpline probably responds within 12 hours somebody can raise a doubt we can the team can answer within 12 hours with the concurrence and acceptability of the iap team work life ba- balance stress management financial planning social and environmental disability human ethical values humor all this may not be covered at least we will select five or six topics so that this will cover so i request the community pediatrician respond to the topics you want we have chosen this topic but this being the first topic we didn't have time to select but we have selected tropical infection because commonest cause of a yeah, op visit to a community pediatrician is fever short term fever fever within 5 to 7 days common causes are benign viral infections constitute about 80 to 90% benign viral infection child comes with fever on monday resolves everything by wednesday that is including viral exanthem they may not need anything more than just simple paracetamol bacterial infection which are clinical identifiable skin infection ura lra pneumonia uti it can be treated with simple investigations by the op pediatrician itself tropical infection dengue malaria lepto scrub and typhoid these five constitute a major share of op between particularly between june to february and they are the major reasons for hospital admission during this period also that's why we have chosen this topic i'll just start with a simple algorithm fever less than 7 days first step is to assess the abcs airway breathing circulation this may look little odd for a community pediatrician i am seeing 150 patients per day how can i go through the abc and make a decision based on the iab pals group that is definitely possible i'll just see you in the next slide then look at the host the ab is abnormal child is in shock or respiratory distress or respiratory failure immediately child may has to be hospitalized a child has to be safely referred this will happen maybe once in a day or once in a week depending on your busy practice then look at the host normal or high risk host high risk host also may not be seen in the op practice but sometimes definitely a new age 
or a child and chemotherapy, or just child stopped chemotherapy, just now recovered from the serious malignancy. A child nephrotic syndrome and steroid, all this may not be very common in open practice, but still they come. They also need uh, investigation and hospitalization. If there is a normal host, then we keep the child and look for the focus like a tonsillitis, skin and soft tissue infection, or UTA, or features of pneumonia, or arteritis media. And also look for clues or specific disease. A child with flushed palm and soles, dengue season, muscle pain, few rashes, all this will make us to think in terms of Kawasaki or dengue. Then finally, we take a decision based on the age. Less than 30 days or children with less than 1 to 3 months, usually they are all high risk hosts. We have to take a decision to investigate them. This is a video. Um, my One of my friends is a pharmacist. He is coming to my clinic at the OP. This video, only one minute video, will tell us how IAB PALS or PALS based assessment of the critical ill child or ABC, how it can be made in a simple OP practice. For every child, we can assess the ABC. Child comes with the shirt removed. Child looks around, curious to know what is happening around, looks for eye contact. So, child is alert. Now you have time to count the respiratory rate for 15 seconds. No noisy breathing, no strider, wheeze or grunt, no retractions. Rate I counted comes to around 32. You can count for 15 or 30 seconds. Distract the child and check the docile speed is. Thanks to my friend for permitting to play this video of his video on this child. So it is possible to assess the ABC in the first one minute. The one minute ABCs are normal. This child may not require a very high level investigations or any hospitalization. So now you request Dr. Selvan, the chairperson, to take over the session from me. Uh, I'll have the happiness of introducing Dr. Selvan.